Oh, oh. Good grief, Kathy. Sassy's friends need to check in. I see you, Suzette. Hey. Uh, Y'all got to tell me when you can't hear the sound. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I think it's because <clears throat> I get confused because I'm not. I got it. Is there any sound now? Let's see. <clears throat> Did it get fixed? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Um, is it fixed yet? Where, oh, where? Hang on. Still no sound. Oh. Hang on. Yeah, now there's sound. Okay, good. Hi. You know me, I'm always doing something stupid. Uh, okay. So how are you doing, Suzette? I sent a message to Alyssa to find out how she's doing. Um, you know, us women and uh we're always wondering how somebody's doing when they're pregnant because, jeez, <clears throat> <clears throat> if she sees my message, uh, uh, I asked her to comment on our, um, <clears throat> on this stream or one of our streams. I said, if uh, you have any updates, let us know in one of the streams when you see it later. Because uh, we're always wanting to know. We need updates. I can imagine she's probably good, Suzette. I can imagine she's probably very exhausted. So let me switch this around. I'm out of sorts. Um, I think Kelly is too. Everybody's kind of out of sorts today. So anyway, so if you're watching, say hi to everybody. All our regulars are called Sassy Friends. So we want Sassy Friends to report in. Report, report. Let us know how you're doing. Okay, now I'm usually here on Mondays and Fridays. So today is rescheduled from uh, Monday because of... Uh, we were still celebrating Mother's Day all weekend, which I love. So today is Tuesday, May 14th, 2024. Let's see what the weather's going to be because can't trust the weatherman lately. Alexa, what's the weather in Culpeper, Virginia? Currently in Culpeper, it's 64 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today, you can expect showers, with a high of 67 degrees and a low of 59 degrees. By the way, if you're headed in that direction, I can tell you about the traffic. Just say, what's the traffic to Virginia? No. Um, I could feel the dampness, and that's why I have to have the fan on. It's like, ugh, yucky. Okay, oh, I forgot to ask her. Alexa. Tell me a joke about the rain. I tell you an umbrella joke, but it might go over your head. Over your head. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're crazy, we're crazy, we're crazy. Okay, May 14th, these are the holidays. It's Dance Like a Chicken Day. So when you see me dancing, you know I'm dancing like a chicken, no matter what. No, it's uh, Dance Like a Chicken Day, and it's National Buttermilk Biscuit Day. Now, I want y'all to know I've been watching a lot of videos about how to make your own dairy products, um, and, and I'm loving it. Okay, I wished I had all that information when my kids were little. Um uh, now, this is the history. May 14th, 1607, a party of settlers led by John Smith established the first permanent English settlement in New World, 
at Jamestown, Virginia. That was today. Hmm. Okay. May 14th, 1787, delegates gather in Philadelphia to draw up the Constitution of the United States of America. May 14th, uh, the number's not right here. Physician Edward Jenner develops a vaccine for smallpox. They don't have the, they don't have the proper number here. Let me see. I'm curious about this. Okay. Uh, pox vaccine. Whoops. Whoops. Uh oh. Uh, let's see. It's not going to uh developed. Let's see. 1749. No, that's it. That's his birthday. Uh, I don't see a date on here. It's here somewhere. 1796. Yeah. This only has three let three numbers there. It's 1796. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay. Uh, May 14th, 1878. Vaseline petroleum jelly slides into the store shelves for the first time. That's funny. May 14th, 1973. The first U.S. space station Skylab is launched. 1965. The last episode of Seinfeld is it. I still watch Seinfeld. It's a sad day in May for millions of Seinfeld followers. I still, I still watch them. I just, I love that, the sarcasm and all that. I love that sense of humor. Okay, now we got birthdays. May 14th, 1686, Gabriel Fahrenheit, the physicist, Mercury thermometers, created the Fahrenheit scale. So this is his birthday, Gabriel Fahrenheit. 1914, Joe Lewis, American boxer. 1925, uh, Patrice Munzel, opera singer. 1944, George Lucas, filmmaker, Star Wars creator. Yep, yep, yep. 1948, Meg Foster, actress. 1955, Dennis Martinez, baseball picture. 1969, Kate Blanchett. Actress of Lord of the Rings and 1984, Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook. So today's Mark Zuckerberg's, but you like his policies or not, it doesn't make any difference. We wouldn't be talking to each other on Facebook if it wasn't for him. <clears throat> so happy birthday, Mr. Mark. Okay. So today we do have, today I'm drinking because it's allergies. My peppermint tea. And we have two reviews. Two reviews. We'll do the first one. Is two good, two gram sugar, two gram sugar, black cherry yogurt. It says, well, I like the black cher cherry flavor in yogurt, so anyway. But it's got all kinds of stuff in it. I don't know. Oh, every two good sold helps feed someone in need. Love it. For every two, for every one of these that's sold, we donate to food rescue organizations dedicated to keeping good food from going to waste and getting it to people in need. Your help, you've helped us give tens, a little, uh, uh, tens of millions of meals and counting. Hi, darling. Uh, so I like that. So let me see how much it was. Um, uh, I gotta go. I gotta go to the, it was. 
to 29. Actually, it was on sale. So it was 169. It looks like my eyes. Ah, how you doing, darling? So let me taste it. I think we've done this before. It was on sale. It's going, it's got expiration date of uh, June 15th. So I guess so. Sassy friends are coming in to say hi. How is everybody? And it, let's see what this says on the inside. Yeah, it just says a taste of the good life. Too good. I love the idea that they're doing that. Okay, that one's stuck. I got a smart idea. Another rainy day. Uh, I was looking for a spoon for um, on, uh, tasting a an oatmeal. And I was running across these and I'm going, why don't I put these in by the computer? That way, if I forget a spoon, I got one. And it worked, didn't it? Okay. Okay, let's taste it. You can tell it's less sugar, but I, I'm not picky about that. Low fat milk. 80 calories, 12 grams of protein, 4 grams of carbs. Zero added sugar. You can taste it, that it's... But it's okay. I'm not, I don't, I'm not fussy about that kind of stuff. I want to see where it's made. Do you know what, darling? Everybody start to go towards buying stuff from Canada. I think about you every time somebody says something. Um, because we are. Our country has so many poisons. What does it say? Uh, part of that Danone family, wherever that is. I don't know where it's made. It says non-GMO. Oh, there it is right here. No, it says distributed from New York. So I don't know where they make it. You'd have to get into it, into it to find out where they make it. What factory? Yeah. Just had that conversation yesterday or the day before. So what we say, if your ear itches, somebody's talking about you. <laughs> so was, has, has your ear been itching in the past couple of days? Um, we weren't talking about you, but we were talking about Canada. And they were talking about the, um, flowers from Canada. If you're going to get, what is it? Red mail? What is it? Is it Bob's Red Hill? Is that the one? Anyway, they were talking about flower. And the best, it was, yeah, it was the other day when we went to pick up mom. Um, the best flower to get is from that certain brand from Canada because they make it here and they make it in Canada. Okay, see, there you go. No, we weren't talking about you. We were just talking about Canada. And, um. I think we're going slowly, our country, USA, rather, is going slowly. If people protest enough as far as don't buy certain products because of the poisons or the artificial stuff in it, everybody's starting to get tired of it because it's, yeah, not good. Um, you know, our own food is making us sick. So anyway, okay. So this is Bob's Red Hill gluten-free oatmeal, apple pieces, and cinnamon with flax and chia.
and 270 calories in this. It's got whole grain oats, cane sugar, dried apple, chia seed, black seed, sea salt, and cinnamon. This is distributed in Milwaukee, Oregon. So I don't know. I don't think it's fair that they don't tell you where you, the ingredients come from. But that's just me. Okay, let's try it. Now, it said you can microwave it, but I just saw the first instruction. It said add hot water. That's all I, I saw. I didn't go down to say add cold water, then you can microwave. I didn't do that. So, um, and this is very thick. You add the uh, water to the line. Look, it's very, very thick. And it's thick with product. You can see the seeds and stuff in it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can taste the salt too. I didn't put any cream or anything like that because I got out of that because I wasn't drinking enough dairy to have cream. There she is, Miss Alyssa. Uh, we're worried about you. We want to know, us, us ladies want to know how you're doing. Keep us updated or we're going to bug you. I am anyway. Oh my gosh. There is an y'all be careful because there's another remember back in the day, um before we knew what this virus was okay, busy weekend with gender. Yeah. It's a boy. It's a boy. It's I believe it's best to have a boy first. I had a boy first. You know, I was young. I wanted a girl. But I believe in the long run, it's best to have a, a boy first. Yay! Thank you for letting us know. It's good to have the gender reveal on Mother's Day weekend, too. You know what I mean? It's just celebrating all kinds of stuff. Yeah. This isn't bad. It's not sweet, sweet, sweet. It's um it's um uh, it but it's thick with product. It's thick with everything. So if you wanna yeah, I yeah, I know Suzette. Yay. Um if you want to um thin it down, you just put some cream, milk, whatever y'all put in your oatmeal. But it's tasty. It's tasty. So what, are you craving anything, Alyssa? But anyway, let me get back. Let me get back. Come to, speaking of Alyssa, my granddaughter got really, really sick. And she couldn't go to work. And she was really, she was sick. So she missed work and she went to the, what do you call them? Um, she went to, it's not, it's kind of like an urgent care type thing, place. And she went there and they said, we cannot find out what's the matter with you. You need to go to the ER. Well, that's scary. So my, uh, her mom was working. So my other daughter decided, um, with all of them together that, you know, somebody needs to go with her just to have an extra person there. So my other daughter went, they never did. They never did find out what was going on. 
So they just said there's something viral going on. And I remember that's how you know what started that nobody knew. They tested her for viruses. They tested her. And you can only, um, you can only recognize a virus if you have the test for it. That's why back in the day, nobody could recognize this, the bad virus that was going around. I don't even want to say the name of it because I don't want to get dinged, but, um, <clears throat> cause a lot of people were very, very sick and nobody knew why. Well, my granddaughter got very, very sick and she's just went back to work yesterday, I think. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Anyway, she just went back to work and she still has a cough and a headache. I said, Santa, that does, the, all her symptoms did sound like a virus. So it was, a, they did, couldn't recognize what it was, but it put her down. And she couldn't work. So you guys got to be very careful still out there. I went in the store yesterday and I happened to think about it. I'm going, oh, oh, I still have the uh, antibacterial stuff in the car. Um, and I just, I use it every time I get in the car when, when I'm, you know, scared. Um, so I said, uh oh, back to the uh, antibacterial stuff. So y'all be careful. Um, we don't want anybody sick. This is, yeah, this is crazy so i drink my peppermint tea in the morning it does help y'all this brand is stash it's not real strong i don't have to put sugar in it because it's got flavor right it's not real strong but it opens you up just don't drink it at night i made the mistake i made a big mistake and so I had nightmares all night long, uh, trouble sleeping, all of that. But yeah, no, it's like, well, I'm going, why are they doing that? That was a good idea no matter what, right? It's a good idea. Who? Nobody likes to touch a stinky cart. I don't even um, like to get a cart when I'm... I just carry some bags in. I don't do a whole lot of shopping at once anymore because I don't have kids at home. Um, but yeah, you got to bring your own stuff. Some st some stores do. They'll have that, uh, you know, where you'll pull pull that um, napkin that has the uh, whatever on it, Lysol type stuff on it, and then you can wipe your cart. That's more what I'm worried about. Um, but I just kind of, if I have to have a card, I go, yuck. But yeah, so y'all be careful because I, it was just a mystery. Nobody knew. And it brings back memories where my uh, grandkids, other grandkids were sick and nobody knew why. So everybody's thinking the flu. Nope. They tested them for all that. Nobody knew why. And then come to find out that a lot of people were sick like that. Uh, so she didn't have, um, I don't think she had lung issues. She had, her throat was swollen and she had real bad headache. And she, she, she her temperature was elevated, but, but it wasn't high. But if, if, if it makes you so sick, you can't work. So they tested her at the urgent care. Then they tested her at the ER. So she was double whammied with the test and they couldn't find nothing. So I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I just, and, and it, the, the, the t time for her to get over it, she went back to work. She still had the scratchy throat, but she's getting better. So I'm going, she had a virus. They just don't know what it was. Um, I'm going to look up, see if we, I didn't, I forgot to do this. I'm out of my schedule here. Mama Sassy is home, by the way. And I told her you guys, uh, were asking about her and that I will, will pop in one day and say hi to everybody, but she's very, very busy. 
she's still doing the Mother's Day thing. Everybody's seeing her on different days, right? Which which makes it go longer, which, of course, that's cool. Okay, let me switch out and go to... And, of course, I'll be at 12 o'clock. I'll be over at uh, Kathy's Online Sales, too. Um, I'm going to see who is, if we got any new people following us. Y'all got to subscribe. Subscribe to our blog if you haven't. And um, if you want uh, me uh, to give you a shout out on one of my live streams on Mondays, beginning of the week, essentially, um, you have to have a public ID or can't give you a shout out because I can't see you. Okay, I don't see, I see somebody new, but I don't see, uh, let's see, the organic gypsy, I've already talked about her, she, uh, she you need to follow her if you haven't, uh, and she's uh, in South Africa, she's in Kenya, oh no, I can't see it, I don't know how to pronounce that, lives in no, I don't know how to pronounce that. South Africa. And she's all over the place. She tells you all kinds of stuff. She's very informative. Uh, talking about the food and all that stuff. So I haven't, ha I haven't had a chance to play with her videos to see how to make sun tea. When was the last time y'all made sun tea? Uh, stuff like that. We used to make sun tea with the kids. It was just fun to watch it. You know, the kids get all fascinated. So she has a ton of videos. Um, I don't know if it tells how many followers she's got. There it is. 540 subscribers, 58 videos. She's the organic gypsy. So you need to follow her. Thanks for subscribing. But yeah, we'll give you a shout out. Yeah, and that lady does not stop. <laughs> I told her y'all were uh, missing her. Um, she does not stop. She does not stop. She sees something, and then she has to take care of it. And then she sees something else, and then she has to take care of it. And then she sees something else, just it. Oh, Lord. At a certain time of night, I got to... I'm going down for the count. She gets more hyper. <laughs> but I told her we were going to do some videos too. We'll do some taste testing and stuff like that. And um, she, <laughs> she is becoming a uh, plant nursery or something. She's starting all these plants. So um, she's got some African violets from... You know how you start the African violets with the leaves and stuff? Well, we've got them from way back when, but now they're too big. I bought uh, two little, I have to get some for my son too, if he has any more. Two little teacups I bought at Goodwill yesterday. And I said, but your plants are too big. We got to start some more so we can put some little African violets in there. I said, I think people would like to buy in a little vintage teacup. You know, they would like to buy a little plant. It's cute for your kitchen or wherever you're putting the plant. So we were talking about plants yesterday. Uh, Rhonda and her husband gave her two tomato plants, but I don't know what kind. And my brother's over there today, so she's going to... Uh, I did give, give her the... Um, Lowe's gift certificate, and that was the best thing I could have ever done. She was all excited. Oh, I, oh, because I've got to go to Lowe's. I've got to get my plant stuff. And I knew she goes to Lowe's all the time. So um, I'd rather her buy what she wants instead of me trying to guess what she wants. Uh, I did give her some seeds. Whether she plants them this year or not, I don't know. She's got cantaloupe, 
onion. I'm trying to think. Cantaloupe, onion. I don't know if I gave her watermelon or not, and something else. So she's got some seeds there. Ah. Uh, so once everything calms down, we'll see. She wants to get a storage shed sooner or later. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, she's busy, lady. Busy, 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 busy. <laughs> uh, she is always busy, 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 busy. Um, but yeah, Alyssa, sorry if I bugged you. I sent you a message on Kathy's online sale. Or said, you've got to let us know <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> we need updates. So, Alyssa, are you craving anything? All three of my kids, I crave something different. All three of them. There's, isn't that strange? All, all three. And, and you know how? Yeah, it, it, it's a special meaning this year for you, huh, Alyssa? It's just... Yep, it's a special meaning. I found some joke things. Uh, one of them was... Because I'm just that way. I can't leave nothing alone. You'd think I was the meanest person in the world the way I do things. But I'm not really. I just like humor in everything. I don't care what it is. I find humor in it. Can't laugh. I mean, really. So. Oh, so what I said. Wait a minute. It's here somewhere. Oh. The best Mother's Day marketing ever. So don't hold your ears, Alyssa. The woman wiped your butt. She deserves a bouquet. <laughs> These are signs. Let me see if I can share it. Hang on a minute. It is so funny. But I see, I see the funny in everything. I just can't help it. I see the funny. Let me share it so you can see it. You crave everything too? But sweets, oh, sweets is a big one. Fruit especially, watermelon, mango. But see all that stuff? Well, other than the sugar is good for you. All that potassium and stuff? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let me show you real quick. This is so funny. Um, it says, the woman wiped your butt. She deserves a bouquet. Because of you, she pees when she coughs. Send her flowers. I thought that was funny. So did everybody else. So, hey. Let's see. There was something else that I put on. I don't know. Wait a minute. Let me look. Let me look. Uh, no, I guess that was it. Oh, this one right here. This one, this one is. Um, okay, I'm not hearing it. Wait a minute. Where would it go? It was a joy. Hey. 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 I don't even remember you ever yelling at me. How could I yell at this it's thing? Hilarious. Oh my god, look what you did to the TV! She just put pay over the TV. I just need a break sometimes. Like I'm completely overwhelmed. Did you ever feel like that? Did I don't remember? Yeah, they're pretending like you don't remember. Happy birthday! I mean, I can barely manage to take a shower every other day, but you were always so put together. <laughs> Enjoying the show, Cheryl? Hell no! <laughs> Perfect. You were always so calm and sweet with me. It's so funny. That's because every moment was a joy. Yeah, I, I have fun with all of it. There you are, Flo. Hi, Joanne. Yeah, I always I always have uh, 
Okay, back to Melissa. Uh, so she's craving sweets and fruit. I did with that with my daughter. I know, Joanne. It, it was hilarious. But I, I see the funny and everything. It's not that I'm being mean. <laughs> I'm just, I just, I, I just, I'm just funny. Anyway, so with my um, daughter, first daughter, I craved um, sweet and fruit, just like you. And um, I remembered the husband at the time. When he went to the store, he asked me if I needed anything. And I said, I I, I would like some, um, he bought me some, um, what do you call them? Sweet roll type thing, you know, with the fruit in it. Uh, package of them, you get them at the convenience stores, right? And I said, I wanted fruit soda, right? <laughs> so he was mowing the grass and he, ca he came in. And brought this stuff, and he said, you have to save me at least one. While he's mowing the grass, I drank all the sodas, and I, I and I um, uh, ate all those, uh, what do you call them thing? They're sweet rolls with the, with the fruit stuff in them. And um, I'm sorry. I was just, I was, ugh, I couldn't get enough. Now, with my son, I craved all, um. Uh, I crave sugar, like all candy, all gum, all everything, sugar, 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 sugar. And then um, with the third one, I craved food, but uh, there were certain things that I would sit and eat the tub or the whole pie at once. I'm not kidding you. I could not understand how this person could pull in that much food in one sitting and never, and, and wanted more. It was weird, but I craved quarter pounder. I uh, no, not quarter pounders, Big Macs. And I don't like Big Macs. I never did like Big Macs. Never, never, never. But she is a fast food junkie. She'll tell you she's a fast food junkie. Now my daughter, um, that I craved the fr sweet fruit, you know, fruit sodas and stuff. She likes fruit, but um, she has intestinal issues, so she has to be careful what she eats. Ooh, pie, I know. I've, I was ridiculous. I'm not kidding you. I would not take, it was apple pie, had to be apple pie. <laughs> and I would not even take it out of the pan. And because, you know, you go to the grocery store, I go, go to the grocery store, I buy the tub of coleslaw. I always had to have coleslaw, apple pie, and Big Macs. It was weird. And I couldn't get enough. I couldn't get enough food. <laughs> couldn't get enough. It's uncontrollable. You can't help it. You just got to have it. <sighs> Wonton soup. Do you like that? Do you, did you like it before? Because the Big Mac thing, I mean, the, um, yeah, the Big Mac thing, I did not like them. I did not like them. I cried over them but because I, I wanted them so bad. Oh, you liked it before? Okay, there you go. Um, it's just strange. I was with my son. Somebody um, had a big... Um, bag of bubble gum you know the bubble gum and the little wrappers big i'd sit there and chew that gum get all the sugar out spit it out just took another piece of gum it's, i was craving sugar the weird so come back every time we do a live joanne you you'll be officially a, a sassy friend everybody likes to say hi to everybody uh, we just happen to have a good topic with Alyssa right now because we're excited over her new baby, which we just found out is a boy. <laughs> I'll have to tell the girls, tell the sisters. We'll have to um, uh, send you something for your new baby. Um, Kelly and Rhonda are pretty good at that. I'm not, I, I don't know. 
I just, I'm, I'm not a good shopper. So I'll get ideas from, um, since we know it's a boy, um, or it, it's a good idea also to wait until the baby's born to know what to give a baby. So it depends on what they want to do. We'll send you a little something. Um, yeah. Okay. Just um, uh, follow the page, and I try to do the uh, events. I try as best I can to get the event out, and so you can be prepared ahead of time. Now, sometimes, um, some most of the time on Mondays, on Mondays, it's um, uh, twelve noon, and then on. Fridays, it's earlier, so I can get done what I got to get done for the Friday. Um, it's at ten, it's at ten thirty in the morning Eastern time. So, but yeah, we're just a bunch of goofy, goofy ladies like to goof. <laughs> no, um, I like to do a review. It's on Mondays. Um, I know today's Tuesday, but that's okay. We like to do a review. Yes, thank you, Alyssa. Um. Some books, okay. Already good. She's she's gotta be excited. What a great Mother's Day gift to give to her. What a great Mother's Day gift to give to her. Um yeah. So if you have a lot of family members, you're gonna have a lot for this baby. But I promise you, it this is the way it works. After a couple of years, oh, let's give this away because we're not gonna have another baby. Or whatever don't do that don't don't get rid of your stuff it's, it happens every time people get rid of their stuff because it takes up room and then next thing you know you're pregnant again right Suzette if you all know anything about peace cards so Joanne is new at least to the conversation and we do peace cards, which we love, 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 love. No more giveaways. I am going to, in June, I'm going to go ahead and start considering um, the giveaways. Uh, uh, the Timu, remember the Timu Hall? We, um, I'm, I, I haven't forgot it. I think about it every month. <laughs> So I want to do a Timu haul specifically. I have some little stuff over here, but I mean, I want to do a Timu haul specifically. So I'll do some of that. And then, um, and it takes a while to get it. So um, we could probably start the giveaways maybe. In, it just depends. Maybe do the, the, the haul in July, the reveal of what we got, and then the giveaway later but it has uh, I'd like it to be before Christmas okay so here we go all right okay so yeah we got the peace cards oh you do books yeah it's a good idea it's like kids I don't know it's different now Everything's interactive online and stuff, even for the babies, right? Um, but there's nothing better than a kid to sit and at least look at the pictures in the books, get used to the books. I don't know what the future's going to hold for that. I don't know. I know a couple that I, I used to clean their house, and they always put... Um, stuff on the uh computer screen live of nature like um a mama uh, one time i was there he said look at this kathy and it was a mama eagle and was taking care of the babies and he put that on for the kids because they didn't watch tv all the time they had um they had tv time and then they had computer time and everything else was their imagination
Okay, here we go. Shuffling up. Now, these peace cards are inner peace cards, and they're sayings from Dr. Wayne W. Dyer. And they do have, um, Suzette, they do have other ones, so we're going to go ahead and one day order another pack of uh, cards. So we'll have different ones. Okay. And this is the way we work it. Pick out of the middle after I've shuffled them. And if it's a repeat, I consider that as something we need. And we have had a lot of repeats. <laughs> okay, we're... Okay, I learned from both positive and negative experiences. And that's true. Look at the bee in the rain. I learn from both positive and negative experiences. And say your joy is divine and so is your suffering. There is so much to be learned from both. I consider everything a learning experience. I've always been like that. Like, I remember one time a long time ago, all this brings back memories. I remember a long time ago, people were after me about the music my kids were listening to. And I said, I, I don't believe in burning books. I don't believe in, 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 love the artwork, yeah. I don't believe, yeah, Suzette, it is. It's so you learn from everything. Anyway, I don't believe in um, sheltering. Do you know what I'm saying? Because you shelter your kids now, or you keep them from certain things now, um, you got to be careful what, what you, how is this going to go? You have to be careful what you keep your kids from because they're going to rebel. It's a part of growing up they're gonna rebel so watch what you don't allow them to do because the very thing that you don't allow them to do that's exactly what they're gonna do when they get a little bit of little taste of freedom right pick your battles yep pick your battles so I was only adamant on uh, for my kids I was adamant on the bleaching of the hair and stuff like that. I still don't like my girls to have, they have dark hair, brown. I don't like them to have uh, light color hair. I, God didn't give you a light color hair. They gave you dark hair. <laughs> um, but, you know, they dye their hair and stuff. But they're not my responsibility anymore. They, they're their own people. Um, but as far as the music goes, I used it as a lesson. They do certain words. I'm going, do you understand what that means? This is the type of stuff I would, but you know, when I was growing up, I listened to all that junk too. I still do. I listen to all of it. Um, it's just, you can't. I don't like sheltering. I like to protect children, you know, a certain, I just don't know. I don't like to, I want them to be able to go out in the world. That's okay. Well, you know, if I stop it now, how are they going to handle it if they go out in the world? So everything was a lesson with me and the kids. Everything, everything. It's just the way it was. We had battles over the hair. We had battles over the attitude. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is how they learn. That's how they learn. They, they got to, yeah. And um, when they got, um, I didn't fight their battles in school either unless they asked me to. I would discuss it with them. Yeah, I know. Uh, I discussed it with them in school, and I'm going, okay, do you want me to say something? 
no. I said, okay, handle it then. Even when they were little. Okay, do you want me to talk to the teacher? You know, it wasn't, it was, if it was major, if it was, if it was physical, if it was major, yeah. I didn't ask permission, I just did. But if it was little, little stuff, I know, you got to handle it. <laughs> I'm not there. If you want me to ask the teacher, I'll go from there. But no, that's okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, everything's a lesson. I don't care what it is. Everything's a lesson. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, um, okay. So I'll be back on Friday at 12 noon. Joanne, we'll see you then. You'll be official. That is how we learn. Oh, I'll never forget. One of my daughters came home. Y'all. This is funny. To me, this is, you know. <laughs> so my daughter come home and said, my teacher doesn't like me. I said, your teacher's not there to, to like you. Your, your job as a student is to learn. Her job as a teacher is to teach. She doesn't have to like you. Who says she has to like you? So then we go from there. She just... I got mad at my daughter a couple of times. You have to babysit on Friday? Oh. You can watch the rerun. Um, But anyway, so, yeah. So, yeah, lessons are hard for kids. But I always made, I always, and, and people said I spoiled my kids. There was, you know what? And they still think I spoiled my kids, and they're 50 years old. Come on, give me a break. Um, I'm always there and I'm always honest. If they say, mom, so-and-so happened, I'm going, well, what'd you do that for? That was dumb. It could be, it could, but my daughter was hyper, so she probably plucked the teacher's nerves. Who knows? <laughs> or she probably wouldn't be still because she's more hyper than I am. Um, her and my mom are a lot alike in that way as far as being hyper and just go. She exhausts me. Just go, 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 go. It's exhausting to watch somebody just go, 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 go. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, ladies, I appreciate the conversation. It's so much fun. We'll figure out how, we'll figure out how we can get online with, you know what? I wanted to get online and watch old, old TV shows and stuff just to have some, something different to do. But it's like Google meet or something. I talked about this a long time ago, but then I looked up, you still can't do copyright stuff on Google Meet. But on Google Meet, people can actually speak to one another. So y'all think about that. Y'all think about that and what you would like to do. You don't have to show your face. You know, like if you're, you know, don't want to show your face. But you'll be able to speak to one another. And that's fun. Um, so I have not got that out of my brain yet. But i got to figure out how to uh, how to get it into a program. Yeah, I know, Alyssa. But I, gotta, I, I looked it up. And you still can't. It's still a copyright thing. But I'd like to watch. Um, yeah, old westerns, like, uh, it, it doesn't even have to be a movie. It's like, you know, has anybody ever thought, every time I see a, a, a little video of somebody saying something that's from Gunsmoke, <laughs> it's like, oh, man, I want to watch them again. Or, you know, just something, it doesn't have to be a long, drawn-out thing. 
But anyway, so y'all think about, help me come up with some ideas. It's copyright problems. Um, so if there's things that are free to use, we can do that. Perry Mason, I remember watching that stuff too. I mean, that was dramatic. I can't do the dramatic anymore. I can do the, Rhonda watches those investigator shows. Kelly watches just about everything. Um, I I kind of like the um, westerns too, Alyssa. Um, yo, I I like that too. Maybe we could watch Bonanza or something. I'll have to figure it out. I'll have to figure out the copyright issues for that, and then maybe once a month we can all get together and watch a movie because it'll be. I'd have to figure out the time and um stuff like that it doesn't have to be you know 10 30 or 12 noon but to watch a movie we could sit and chat and watch um watch the movie the best we can amongst our talking <laughs> um but we'll figure it out i'd like to do that i still want to do that i haven't stopped thinking about it but i just run into the copyright thing i'm going well, if we watch so and so, whatever it was, um, Mayberry RD or something, um, somebody asked, well, what about copyrights? You still have to watch copyrights. But if it's private, why would you? But anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, copyright issues. I'm writing myself a note uh, with Google Meet. And we'll see what happens. Then that way we can actually speak. And that would be a lot of fun, I think. And we'll figure it out. But I like I like Westerns too, at least. I don't know. Gotta have that macho man in there. <laughs> in the Westerns. Uh, Rhonda used to love the black and whites. I walk, I walk in one day, when she was a teenager, I walk in one day and I'm going, what are you watching? And she said, um, old movies. I love old movies. You know why I like to see old movies now? It's like, oh, they're smoking. They're not supposed to be smoking there. Or all the things that are banned now. Or all the things we don't use anymore. Yeah, you guys too. We got to go too. So it was. I had a good time, y'all. Let me get off here and go over to Kathy's online sales and um, uh, let me get my music going. We shall talk to y'all later. This was a good fun. And we got a new sassy friend. So hang in there, y'all. We'll see y'all Friday.